Welcome to the weekly outlook. Bernie here from Elliott Wave Pro. To get started on the DXY on the daily, we have uh, the five down. We have an A, B, C in here. Wave C is already broken above the starting uh, ending point of wave A. So this can turn at any time to give us more downside, or it can still continue up to this. 38.2 or even the 50 fib retracement of the this five down here so if we go down to the h4 last week we were looking for that z up we got that z up it's hit the first target at the 123.6 this may be internal um so we get a a this is a B wave and a C in here for a running or expanding flat and then get another one up. And that may be the end of wave Y. Or we just reverse from here now. Um, but there is that possibility that we do get that running flat or expanding flat in here for more upside. Looking at the H1, we have bearish divergence. So you really, we have bearish divergence and the trend line break. So I'll be looking for the sell. If you get a little flag, look for that sell. Um, you'll be looking for this first target. Uh, definitely want to be at break even at this 100 fib here. Um, at least break even and even take half off because like I said, we may get that that uh, flat on the H4 and we get more upside. But uh, definitely look for the uh, sell this week or Monday at the start of the week and uh, yeah, look for that 100 fib and you could probably target that 161.8 as your first target and and look for the low, break of the low, because on the daily, this may be over. This here may be over and we go and break this low. So, yeah. On the AU, like I said last week, it's a little bit tricky on the daily because we've got WXY. We haven't hit this 100 fib and we don't have any bullish divergence. We have bearish divergence through here. So we are looking for that larger correction. Um, you know, between here and here, we had that bearish divergence. So we are looking for that larger correction and we are getting that. But is it over? Looking at the H4. Last week, we had that bear hidden and we were looking for the short and we went and broke that low. So if you look for the short last week, you would have got a nice um, sell on it. The thing with this is, we're looking for a correction a similar size to this. Now, this may be a flat here as well. We get an A, B, C as a running flat, and then we get more downside for the wave Z, and we get a flat in here. So I'm definitely not rolling that out. If we get this wave up here, well, it's, we got a nice impulse on the lower time frame. But if we get this one up here, that will be a similar size to this correction here then. Okay. And then we look for that, that sell. But on Monday, looking at the H1, I'd be looking for the buy. We got a nice impulse up on non-farm payroll. Um, if you get a buy set up, flag, look for the buy. Um, again, you could probably first target that, that 100 fib. Um, or, you know, your second target, that 161.8 on this. Uh, but, yeah. Yeah, I'll be targeting that 100 fib and then 
look for that 161.8 as your second target because then you should get another wave down and uh, a Z up or wave five. EU on the daily. Again, nothing's changed. We've got this A, B, C. We've broken below the ending point of wave A, so this can turn at any time. Sort of looking for that 50 fib retrace. Um, ideally, we get that um, a deeper correction down to the 50 fib. But this here, this is looking very corrective. So whenever this wave's finished, we are, we are looking for more upside, I think. On the H4, this one didn't give us a the bear hidden on the H4. Like I said last week, we didn't get that bear hidden on, on, on the H4. Looking for that W, X, Y. Again, this may be a flat in here. You know, running or expanding flat in here to give us that Z down. So at the start of week, we'll be looking for that upside. On the H4. H1, sorry. H1, we had that bear hidden, and we're looking for that 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 sell. Um, it hit the first target, the one twenty three point six and the one sixty one point eight. Um, when we filtered all this out, so now we have to be sort of careful here, because if we have a look at the, this little bit in here, this last little bit. This may be a flat in here. So you get an A, B, C. So you want to wait for your nice setup. You want to wait for a nice buy setup before you look for that buy. Or else it can break that low. You can just come here and straight back down and break the low. So you got to wait for your setup. And it goes for pretty much all the pairs. GU on the daily. So again, this may be a flat. In here. Looking at this as a flat on the daily. So we get this A, B, C as a running flat because this top was broken. This top was broken over here. So looking at the H4, this one had the bear hidden last week. So we got that W, X, Y, X with the bear hidden here. And we were looking for this to break the low. This was your first target here, the 123.6. That got hit. Um, it, it, it hasn't come down to that 161.8. First target was hit. So if you took it, you've done well. So again, this may turn out like the others. It may be an A, B, C in here. Give us a running or expanding flat for more downside. Um, this may turn into a larger correction. So we just have to watch that. On the H1. Yeah, see, we're, we're getting bare hidden here. We got like a W, X, Y. And we're getting bare hidden. You can see that bare hidden. So you have to be careful because this may be um, like a, an A, B, C in here as an expanding flat and then get another one down. And it may go down to that 161.8, um, that second target on the H4. So you, you have to be careful and you need to wait for 
the nice. If you're looking for that buy, you need to wait for a nice flag to buy. And you on the daily, this one's broken the low. So we've got that ABC. The ABC with bullish divergence. This can end at any time. On the H4, we only had that one wave down on the H4. Now we may get that correction A, B, C up in here before we get more downside as a regular flat in here. So we have to watch for that. If you're going to look for the buy, um, you know, you got your first target here at the 100 fib. We never got the bear hidden on this one um, because we only got the one wave down on the H4. Like I said last week on the H1, when we filter all this out, we had a W, X, Y, X2, and a Z. We were looking for that Z down last week. We had, uh, when we filtered this out, we had uh, bare hidden here um, to go and break that low. Never broke the low but it gave us that nice deep pullback, nice deep correction. So if you took the, the cell set up, you, know, you wouldn't have lost money. You know? Now we're looking for the buy, because we, again, if you get a buy set up in here, look for that buy targeting that 100 fib. You'd probably target that 161.8 if you think it's going to reverse from here. That's your second target. Looking at the UY, nothing's changed on the daily. We haven't quite broken this top over here in this C wave. In here, we're looking at an A. I'm still looking at it as a B wave, and then we get this C down. We haven't been getting those cells set up, so for this C down. Starting to get too far. It's still okay as a B wave. And I still am looking at this as a B wave because it's so choppy. So we're looking for that A, B, C on the H4. Just change this. Change your colour on that. So last week, I said, you know, we're not getting that buy set up. It was looking very bullish, you know. So if you did take the, the buy for the scalp, like I said, you could take that buy for the scalp, but only as a scalp. And um, you would have done okay out of that scalp. It was looking very bullish last week. Uh, So now, on the H1, we don't have any bearish divergence. And we have possible bull hidden here. So there's, there's nothing to say that this won't go and break the top again. So we have to be very careful. We've got a trend line here. If you're looking for the sell, you really want to break this low. Take out that bear hit and then wait for your correction for a sell for that C down on the day on the daily, that internal C wave down on the daily. Um, other than that, it, it's going to be risky to look for the sells within here. You really need it to break out and then give you the cell set up. And I'm really only looking for the cells. If you're looking for the buys, you're only looking for the scalp. 
you're only scalping the buy. So for the buy, you, you'd probably look for a correction in here and then one down in here for your three down and then your buy set up if you're looking for your buy. So like a head and shoulders here, you know, um, for your buy. Starting to get risky. Right. H4, we don't, we have all the, we do have bearish divergence. So, you know, it's starting to get risky. You, Sheffy, on the Swissy, on the daily. So we've got that, looking at that A, this is a B wave, and then the C. This bounce clean off the 100 fib here, and we got that nice move down. At that stage, when we bounced off the 100 fib here, we were looking for this wave down to go and break that low. We didn't have any, we don't have any um, ball hidden here, ball hidden divergence. We got a higher high. When we started to see all this in here on the H4, we're starting to get that a lot of that divergence. We're getting all this divergence. So we're just looking for that buy setup. On the H4, there's not much at all because we just have that one way. Will this turn into a flat here? This may turn into a flat. This was rather sharp though. Um, and this was corrective in here. Go down to the H1, again last week. We're looking for that Z up. We're in here somewhere and we're looking for that Z up, up to the 123.6 and second target that 161.8. First target got hit. Now we're getting this trend line break here. If I just remove all this, cause that's all over. So we've got the bearish divergence. We'll probably put this fib on here. So we're looking for a retracement. We've got the five up. So we're looking for the A, B, C, back to the 50 fib, if it's gonna give us more upside, which it can, looking at the daily, or it's going to reverse from here. We're looking for the cell. You know? If you get any bear set up, look for the cell, down to this 50 fib. I'll be first targeting that 50 fib. Looking at the UCAD on the daily. This was a little bit different. Because like I said last week, well, for quite a while, we got bare hidden here. I was looking at this as an extended wave, W, X, Y, X2 and then the possible Z down. We have that bear hidden. So we can't rule out this breaking the low. On the H4, it's just got a one wave up. I this is this was rather impulsive, and this is the B wave looking at it as a B. Get that C down, and then we may get more upside as just the regular flat in here. Um, 
and get an A, B, C in here. It's definitely possible. And I'm sort of looking at it that way as well um, because we are at a low. And on the weekly, we bounced off this green 100 fib here and it's bounced clean off of it. Looking at the H1, again, we were looking at that ball hidden last week. So the W, X, Y, X2, and then we'll go up and your first and your second target. Well, the, this one didn't uh, break the top. But like I said, on that, on that daily, there is that possible bear hidden. So we have to be very careful. This can go and break the low. So if you do get, very set up in here. Look for the sell. You know, your first target will be that 100 fib. And then, you know, you could keep it the second half um, to go and break this low. Because there is that possible bear hidden. GY on the daily. This is, we've got the cross down now on the MACD. This is looking corrective though. It's, it's not looking in, it's not looking impulsive the, the move down into this wave X2. Um, we were looking at this as internal. And we can go up to this 161.8. This may turn into some sort of a flat in here. And then give us that one more up. And this will be internal as well. We'll look, Eventually we're looking for something like this after this wave wires over. We're looking for that larger correction on the H4. Last week, we had that bear hidden. Well, looking for this to go and break the low. It's, you know, this was a very deep pullback. So that's why I said you have to be very careful with this one. Um, the, the JPY pairs, we have to be very careful because, um, yeah. If we look at this, Sort of given a sharp move, sharp move. We're getting A, B, C in here. And then we get that A, B, C, A, B, C. And then we get that larger A, B, C. So this can sort of turn into a, a larger correction in here. Giving us that daily correction that we're looking for. Um, so this can turn quite complex. Um, if you look at the H1, you are getting a buy set up here. Right. But again, I'd be very careful. You're getting a buy set up here. I'd be very careful. Look for that A, B, C. Definitely be at break even at that 100 fib. Or we'll even take half off at the 100 fib because we may get that A, B, C down before we get the larger A, B, C like I showed. So there is a scalp in here. More than likely, it's just going to be a scalp. Um, it may go and break this top. Um, if it does go and break that top, well, you know, and you just take half off at the 100 fib and it keeps on going and breaks that top, well, then you can keep that second half because then you get a W, X, Y, X, 2, and then a Z up. EG on the daily. Nothing's changed on the daily. We have to be very careful because this is large, large correction in here. We're looking for that A, B, C. Instead, we got this large correction in here after that nice impulse.
So last week, I said you had to be careful because this can be an ending diet. Uh, this can be a ending diagonal here. And we may get another one down. And that's still possible. We have that, like I said, we got that bear hidden here. So this top still has not been broken. Like I said last week, for the bite, we wanted to break out of here, breaking, getting rid of that bear hidden, breaking this trend line, and then look for the buy setup. Um, or else, for your buy setup, or else it's possible that this low gets broken for that one two three four and that fifth wave down as the as the ending diagonal um it's still possible because this this wave two wave c still holds so um yeah just be careful of that it's very choppy this pair extremely choppy we got a nice impulse up and we are looking we're only looking for the buy but it's just not giving us that nice buy setup yet if we look at the uh h1 you know we're getting this trend line break in here we're getting bare divergence we've got a flat in here so we've got an a b c in here now, if you get a bear set up in here, look for the cell as a scalp. It's only a scalp. Um, I'll be more interested in letting it go and break this low. Then waiting for this trend line break. So let it break this low. Come and break the top. Then give us your bullish setup, and then I'll be looking for that C up on the H4. UY, on the daily. Again, this one here is giving us that ball hidden uh, between here and here. It's giving us that ball hit. So this can go up and break the top. On the H4, we had that bear hidden last week. We had that bear hidden. So we're looking for downside. But like I said, this was looking very bullish here. So more than likely go up here and then go and break the low. Well, it did neither. It, it, it just stayed in this range in here. Didn't do much at all last week, this pair. So now we can sort of look at it. Is this a contracting flat? Um, so you get that W, X, Y, X2, and then the Z down. There's no clear direction on it. You, you can't really trade that contracting flat if it's a contracting flat, because we're never going to know if that is going to be a contracting flat or not. There's really nothing. I would stay out of this pair. There's nothing clear on it. Um, it's not giving a buy. It's not giving a sell. Um, I'd just stay out of it until it gives a better setup, something that we can trade. You don't want to be risking your account on stupid trades, you know. Looking at gold. Like I said, for ages, we've got this bear hidden so we can get that Z down. Nothing's changed on the daily. Well, this W, X, Y, X2, we're looking for that Z down. Um, we're, we're looking for that. This was looking nice because we we're looking for this to break the low. But it didn't really give it a nice setup. I think this is more than likely going to be a flat in here. Just broke the low. Um, 
So we get this little like A, B, C in here for the W, X, Y, X2, and then we get that Z down. So be careful with the Ys. You have to be careful. H1, we do have bullish divergence, but again, this may be a flat in here. So be careful. If you're looking for the buy, you really want a nice setup, you know, to risk the, taking the buy. Ideally, I'd be looking for impulse down and a bearish setup for that flat, looking for that Z down, targeting that 161.8 and the 123.6. Looking at uh, WTI on the daily, We're getting up to this top here, over here. We've got all this bearish divergence. So, yeah, don't really want to be looking for the buys up here. I should point out, I still am looking at this as it's gone, it's gone too far, really. But I can still look at it as a flat in here, as a running flat. So we're looking for that C down. Um, but it's starting to get too far. Not the I'm only looking for the cells. Either way, I'm only looking for the cells. H4, we're starting to get all this bearish divergence. So, you know, there's no way I want to be looking for the buys. H1, we might maybe getting a setup here. The thing I don't like about it is we didn't get any bearish divergence between this top, this top, and this top. We didn't get any bearish divergence. That's the thing that I don't really like about it. If we have a look, we're in this slight channel, this up channel. But there is a chance that we fall over from here. And I want to take every cell setup I get. So there is a chance this is a flat A. B, C in here, and it goes up and breaks the top. Or this is an A, B, C up in here for a running flat, and we get A, B, C, or even a W, X, Y. So we can look, I'm not looking for the buy, I'm only looking for the sell. So if you put a, you could put a sell stop here comes down and tags you, well, there, there's your uh, stop loss. And you might get a nice trade down. Um, you know, that's what I'll be looking for on Monday. Looking at Bitcoin on the daily. So we've got this. We haven't crossed down here on the daily. So we've got this W, X, Y. This is was a large, larger correction, but we never crossed up in the MACD. Um, we still haven't crossed up in this MACD. So we have no bullish divergence. Looking at the, the H4, we got that C up. We got W, X, Y. No bullish divergence. And we've bounced clean off that first target at that 100 fib. This is sort of starting to look bearish here. This is a little bit tricky because this can be a flat in here as well to go up and break the top for an A, B, C. So you have to be really careful with your setups. 
You want a nice setup to sell it. You can see here, but we're getting more, it's more of a sell setup, you know. So we may get another one up here. Look for your sell, um, but just be mindful that this can be that flat before we get another one up. So yeah, you'll have to be a little bit careful and get it to break even. What, whichever way you're trading on this at this stage, I'd be getting it to break, break even because this is looking corrective. We'll go back to the H4. You can see that this here is looking corrective. Whatever's happening in here, it's looking corrective. Whereas this, if this was the wave Z, like I was looking at it, it should have given a nice impulse up, then a correction, and then go more upside. But instead, what we're getting is re very flat pattern. So be very careful, you know, whichever way you trade at this stage. Um, just more, it's more scalps and getting it to break even and not losing money. It can go or either way. Looking at this, at, um, the S and P. Getting closer and closer to this hundred fib here. It's getting a lot of bearish divergence. It's very risky to buy. Um, you know, we're at a high. It's breaking all all time highs, so it's it's getting risky. This is this wave here. We, we were looking for this wave up, but now it's starting to get too far. It's starting to go too far because we're looking at this as a like an A, B, C in here, and then with A, B, C. But this is this has gone too far. It's gone past a hundred fib, and I think we may have even lost this bearish divergence. Have we? We still do have the bearish divergence. But if we draw the fib, you know, it, it's gone way too far. This is your 100 fib here. It's nearly up to the 161.8. So, you know, we are looking for the cell. We're only looking for the cell, really. On the H1. We're starting to get bearish divergence. We do have a trend, a very sharp trend up, you know, this trend in here. We do have a very sharp trend. Um, if you're looking for the sell, like you can scalp, you get flags, you know, you can look for the buys and scalp them. I'll be more interested in waiting for the trend line break and a sell set up. Even if it's just a, for a C down, get it to break even. Um, Eventually, this is going to fall over. Right? We'll give us a larger correction. You know, on the daily, we're getting all that bearish divergence. It's got to correct sooner rather than later. Looking at the DAX on the daily, it's very similar. Daily, we've got all this bearish divergence. You know? We're not quite at that 100 fib. We're getting very close to that 100 fib. We bounced off. Uh, we got that Z up. It only just broke the top. We got looking at A, B, C. And we got that um, as a large flat in here. We could look at it as A, B, C, but this in here or wasn't doing anything so i said you, you have to be careful it's not really giving us direction so sort of back here you know when we had that like um that a possible a b c in here we we're looking for that bite it never went and broke the top instead it's giving us all this in here it's it's unclear the direction i'd be staying out of this um 
it's not giving us what we're looking for. Same with it, the footsie. It's not, we've got all this bearish divergence on the daily again. On the H4, it's not playing the game. It was starting to play the game and now it's not. We're looking for that A, B, C in here. Then the A, B, C. We, it has broken the top of this top of this A wave here. So it is technically complete. But really, it's so choppy in here, in this wave. Um, this should have been impulsive. All these waves should have been impulsive. Like these were impulsive. This was our B wave in here. So we got that A, B, C. A, B, C. Didn't go up and break the top. So I'd be very careful with this as well. It's not giving us the structure we're looking at. We go down to the H1. It did break this top here. We don't have any bearish divergence. So I'd just be staying out of it, you know, um, for now. You can look for the buy, but very risky, you know. I'd be staying out of it for a while until it gives us something clear. So I hope you enjoyed the weekly outlook. Hit the thumbs up, share, like, and enjoy your weekend. I'll see you out there next week.